To be able to play this great music, one also needs to have unlimited technical, so to say, possibilities to do with the instrument everything what you hear and the, the most, you know, the special colors and everything. So I try to find this kind of people, also young people, who are, um, who are also one can say, virtuoso of their instruments. So they, they, they're a, a very good instrumentalist, but they are not, that's not their main focus and not the main focus of producing themselves as a, as a star, but the main focus is to, to, to try to grow and to the develop and to go into the you know, deepness of the music. That, so uh, the idea of uh, less ego, more profound music is always very present in Elvis. Yeah, it's tricky spots. And maybe I don't, I don't know, there's the session, session of his uh, harmony groups that I just find, however much I look at them, they never lose the miracle. They no, just it's fantastic. Can't and quite you, see and then how it's like, 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 yeah. like, okay, where does this go now? You're like, in, in, in the no man's land somewhere, yeah, you know? Yeah, and then yeah, yeah. just like, all too often, uh, music is an indoor sport for us, but uh, um, above Ernan, uh, the most beautiful mountain views. So uh, we decided uh, 5.30 in the morning to take the cable car up to the Egeshorn and uh, take in the, the sunrise over the Alps, um, uh, hearing the, the cows come to life and uh, finding inspiration about the mountains. It was absolutely amazing. We, it was like an alien landscape, and uh, it was amazing to come back down after and begin rehearsing for the day. And uh, yeah, it was it was really incredible. The festival 2015 is my seventh year here in Ernen, uh, and I'd just like to say that this place offers so many opportunities for everyone that has a chance to get here. Both the performers, both the um, audience and for composers. And this year in particular I found it an amazing experience to work together so closely with the composers in residence. As musicians, we're lucky to travel throughout the world and play in lots of different festivals in different places. But this place has a special sense because of the community that comes together every year for some reason. People have been coming for years and supporting the festival and hearing concerts and making a bigger and bigger family each year. Yes, finally. I have been coming here for about 27 years now. I was uh, 18 years old when I came for the first time. Yeah, that, see there? Oh, yeah, there we have to check that one. There. And then suddenly, you know, uh, arriving in, in, in this beautiful, beautiful village and it's full, full, full of atmosphere. And at the same time, uh, together with, with young pianists, but also other instrumentalists, because that was one of the amazing traits about Sebuk. He didn't just teach pianists, he, he, he taught music. We are at Ernan here in the beautiful church, and tonight there's going to be the premiere of Keeping Watch. This is the new piece that has been commissioned by the festival and that is for Oboe d'Amore, 
and five strings. Eventually you can also play it with a string orchestra. And I'm very much looking forward to it. Bart Schneemann is playing the solo part and we are a wonderful crew.